The Immortal John Hancock here, and I'm here to kick off a new series. And uh, the series is going to be called Collect and Play. And I would like to initially start to focus on some homebrew games, showing uh, collectibles, what they look like physical copies, and then show you some actual footage. And so, again, um, this is going to be a first run, so uh, bear with me. Uh, the first game I'd like to showcase is, what else? Game Panic. And Game Panic was uh, uh, a game I did with uh, a programmer two years ago, Jason Santusi. And uh, let's talk about the physical copies of it. So I used uh, a case from uh, Ace Premier Products, makes uh, several media style game cases. And what's cool about these cases which uh, I learned from other Atari homebrew games is that they house 2600 games perfectly. And so um, taking uh, game cartridges that were labels were falling off, a bunch of combats, I was able to make, that's right, my own homebrew. <laughs> and so this, uh, this game is now being sold for Callots Gamers for Kids. And uh, this is what the cartridges look like. I had the labels done locally um, from a Vantage Screen Printing. It's a uh, it's a place in town. I'm I'm very thankful they donated the labels to me. Uh, simple manual. Uh, again, uh, just going back to the uh, old school old school ways of just simple games, simple manuals. Uh, not much else. Uh, uh, the Immortal Edition, which is the uh, unlimited edition of this game, even comes, look out, spider freaks. Yeah, it comes with a little plastic spider. I um, thought it was kind of cool. I thought it would be kind of creepy, too, to open up a, uh, a game package and, and, and see that. So, anyways, that's what the game uh, front looks like. Uh, the cool thing about homebrews is, I don't know about you, but, you know, you have someone who maybe knew some of the classics back in the day and they, they come and check out someone your collection and they're like oh my gosh I don't remember that game and, and what's kinda cool is you know even the spine looks like a classic 2600 game and you know you can really mess with people saying oh yeah I know you haven't heard of that game no <laughs> but anyways it's a great little homebrew and um, I have some gameplay footage so check this out hello YouTube fans uh, uh, just here to show you some simple footage from Game Panic. And Game Panic is a 20, 2014, 2014 uh, Portland Retro Gaming Expo exclusive. And uh, since then I've done a couple uh, standard edition runs. Uh, the game is based off a simple Game & Watch game. And the programmer Jason Santusi worked really hard and uh, has worked... Uh, at making a game look like a Game & Watch game on the 2600. I was really happy with the end product. Um, he really captured uh, uh, kind of what I was going for. And so uh, the game pretty much is your, your, your me. Uh, <laughs> it, it captured me pretty well getting from one side of my game room to the other, dealing with a malfunctioning garage door, and you're avoiding two enemies from... Uh, the top of the screen water and spiders and um, you know you're, you're avoiding uh, them by moving left and right on the on a controller and uh, if you quickly get across from one side to the other uh, you get 200 points without hesitation if you don't then you get 100 points uh, the score it's a score based game and uh, has like simple like calculator style font, which I thought was a nice touch, as well as Nintendo controller uh, as, as symbol of the live. So let me go ahead and show you that. And here we go. All right, got 100 points. Let's see if we can get over there. Oh, good, 200 points in that one. Let's see if I can do this all the way over. I'm doing the easier version of the game. This is uh, the uh, the harder version. is much harder. 
let's go ahead and start the hard version. Nope, that's that's definitely all right. Still on the easy version. <laughs> Let's try it now. There we go. Now it's harder. Gotta avoid it. It gets pretty challenging. Simple game. Again, I wasn't going for anything complicated. Um, I wanted something as a throwback to some classic gameplay. And, uh, you know, as a child who, oh, didn't make it, got me. It can get pretty challenging on this setting. I also wanted a game uh, to show, showcase to kids. Um, I wanted a game that was simple enough. They're, they're, you know, one of the easy setting. Gosh, I'm just getting my butt kicked here. But anyways, that's the premise of the game. It's a fun little game. Um, I... I stand proud with uh, the final product. Uh, Jason Santusi did a great job, and uh, he's done several projects. Uh, uh, the cool thing about this game now, the Immortal Edition, is that all proceeds go to Callet's Gamers for Kids. And if it wasn't for programmers such as Jason Santusi, um, products like this just wouldn't happen. And I'm thankful for it. I'm really, really, really uh, happy with the end result. Um, it's a fun game, and the kind of like cool thing is that there's not many games on the 2600 that mimic the LCD calculator style um, um, gameplay. And I, I like I said, I, um, I'm very, very happy with this, and and uh, thanks for watching.